Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about finding your target market. It's really important for you to know who is your target market when it comes to marketing your business. So you can't just go out there in the street without knowing who's your target market. Yeah, that's my kid just typing. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rudolf Dube and here I share tips and tricks on how to build, market and scale your online business. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the notification button so that you don't miss any other videos like this where I share tips and tricks on how to grow your online business. So getting back to finding your target market. So it's important for you to know who is your target market when it comes to your uh, marketing your business online because without knowing who is your target market, without knowing much about it, without doing any research into your target market, how are you supposed to know who to target, right? So you have to really understand who is your target market so that you know who you're targeting. You have to research your target market and get to really understand what's going on in there to see who is the person you want to target, right? So you have to really study the behaviors of the people that you want to target in that market of yours, right? Uh, so if it's women, what kind of women do you want to target? What are their interests? What do they like? What kind of problems are they uh, struggling with that will be helped with your product, right? Because your product has to be a solution to whatever they're going for, right? Or it has to help them achieve something so you know, bring some joy or anything like that right but you have to really understand what is your target market and really study it so that you get to understand how your market really behaves that way you'll be able to know how to uh, target it right how to position yourself into that market but it only starts with you really understanding your market so in that market that you want to target you really have to understand your customers really get to know them know the behaviors know what drives them what push them what are the desires what are the frustration what are they looking for how do they behave where can you find them where do they hang out in right because think of it it's almost like you're doing a, a fishing, right? Uh, I don't fish, but <laughs> I would assume if you're a good fisher, you know where you're going to do your fishing, right? You don't just show up to any body of water, right? You don't just go to a pond. So you're going to somewhere where you know you'll be able to catch something, right? So you go to that water body, whether it's a river or lake or whatever, where you know you'll be able to catch those fish, right? You don't go to the swimming pool to catch fish. <laughs> you're not going to find any fish in there. So that's what it seems like when when it comes to your business when it comes to knowing your market you need to know where exactly can you find your fish even if we were to consider you finding your market in terms of how to go for hunting right so when you're in the forest right so let's say you're in the um, the serengeti in africa i'm an african so i'll use <laughs> use that as a reference right so if you're in the serengeti right let's say you, whatever animal you are you're wanting to catch your prey right you're not gonna just show up in the different uh grasslands right you're gonna go to the ones where you know you'll be able to catch the prey you want to catch right and then you're gonna wait there and study your prey to see how they're walking around right which one are you wanting to catch right is it gonna be the big juicy fat one or is it gonna be the the small ones which are going to be easy for you to catch which animal are you wanting to uh to catch right you start off with studying the market so it's the same thing when it comes to your business go to your market know your target market and then study your customer in that target market to say okay what kind of things do they want right what are what are the pain points how are you going to be able then to position yourself like okay i want this kind of people for my products and services and the person i want for my products and services is going to be the person who is is like this right you have to come up with your customer profile of the people you want to catch right so this is when it's really important for you to know who is your ideal client so i did a video before about how to find your your ideal customer which you can find here that you can check it out and get to know who is that customer you want to catch in your target market right it's really really important for you to get to know who is your target market i've spoke about this so many times if you can check the younger self of me talking about <laughs> how to find your target market right there's a target market for everyone there are lots of people out there you have to find your target market and sell to them find those people who need your services and sell them so you have to find your own target market find your market because there is a target market for everybody for everybody there is a target market for you so it's just a matter of you getting to study that and getting to know who is that target market for yourself and then you position yourself so that you'll be able to present your offers and um, 
your products in front of your ideal clients. So you can't say you have a business and not know who is your ideal customers, right? Who's your ideal market when it comes to your business? Who's going to buy your products? You need to understand your market. You need to study it and really get to know who is that ideal customer of yours that you want to attract with your business, right? So that you'll be able to, to sell your products to, right? But if you don't know them, how are you going to position yourself? How are you going to know what to use, right? So study your market. Get to know your market. Really study them so that you can be able to position yourself. And when you know who is your target market, you become more focused. You just concentrate on that target market. You don't get distracted, right? So let's say if you're looking to catch a... Going back to fishing. So if you're looking to catch a salmon, right, you're not going to worry about all the other fishes which are going to be jumping up and down in the water, right? You know what you want. You target that river the way you know you're going to find any salmon. You're not going to go to a dam to, ta to catch any carpenters, right? Is it carpenters? What are they called? Those little small fish? <laughs> So you're not going to worry about the cord. You're going to be focused on where you are. You want to catch that uh, salmon, right? So if you know that your people who you want to target are women from the age of 20 to 40, you're not going to bother yourself targeting to people who are 60 years old, right? Because that's not your target market, right? You're going to be focusing on those people who are employed, uh, who can afford your products, who are going to be more appreciative of what you have to offer, right? And you don't worry about everyone else right you just focus on those people and focus on how you can provide value to those people and solve their problem by presenting your product right it all comes down to knowing who is your market right and who are your ideal clients in those market that you want to target so study your market study your market study your market and then when you know your market, you'll be able to present your offers, position yourself. You're more focused. You don't get distracted with everything else which is going on. You don't get distracted with people who are not your ideal client. You don't waste your time. You know how to just, you know, focus on the target market and then you sell your products. Hope that helps for you guys that focusing on your own market and knowing who is your market and study your competitors so that you can position yourself better. So I hope this has been useful for you and you like it. Please make sure you share with others that might find this video useful as well. I hope you found this video useful and you like it. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification button so that you don't miss any other videos like this where I share tips and tricks on how to grow your online business. So for now, stay strong, stay positive and continue building the business that you love. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.